G'day mates, my name is Jacktic and welcome to a Crash 4 guide for the coloured gems. Each uh, gem has a timestamp in the description so please click whatever one you want to uh, find a certain gem. So our first gem is the red coloured gem, it is found on the second level and sandy peak. So first of all you want to cross through a gated door that opens for you and you run to these kind of uh, phasing platforms here. Once you cross all of those you'll see a second gated door. Now just next to that gated door you can see coming up there's a bit of a glyph on the wall that kind of shows you in a directional way how you move through a certain area. This obviously correlates to the next door area here which is the Lani Lolly room. Uh, as you can see here by hopping on the right platforms we will spawn up the gem. So you want to start from the bottom left hand corner and just wrap around anti-clockwise going all the way around and then hugging back into the middle and when you hit that middle platform it will spawn the red colored gem there at the very end of the platform. Pick it up and there you go. On the dimensional map you also can check the red colored gem by pausing the game and looking at the top right hand corner. Okay, so our second colour gem is the green gem on the third level of the wastelands, hit the road. At the beginning here you can see a glyph that shows a green container and a red skull. Now once you get past the first section of the chase with the car, you'll find a container which is a trash can. You want to spin that trash can, it will throw out a controller. Spin the controller, it will spawn a mini version of the car referring to the skull, the skull being at the front of the car. And basically as the more you spin it, it will go towards the nitro crate, blow up the nitro crate, and there you have it, your green gem. And just taking a quick look here like we did before, the green gem is next to our red gem. Let's go to the next one. Alright, next we head to Tranquility Falls on the second level, dragging it on for our blue gem. You can see here at the very end of the level there is a crate with a slash through it, uh, basically saying don't break any boxes. This is a big shout out to the blue gem on Crash 2, uh, Turtle Woods, where you actually don't break any crates to get the gem at the very end. Same thing goes for this level. So here's a little quick uh, playthrough here of me getting through the level, showing you what I did, and I'll let you know some certain texts and areas that you can do certain things to avoid boxes. Pretty much at the very start is just go through the level, nothing too special right here. Alright, so here's our first tech area um, of the run to avoid a box. So you want to basically deactivate a Kano and go through the right hand side gap of those two crates, otherwise you will hit them. Now coming up here to this rope, I don't show it here in this run, but the best way of doing it is just to stand in the top right hand corner of the uh, platform and the rope will just click on and you'll basically grab it automatically. Now coming up here there'll be a bunch of boxes stacked up, basically you just want to do the highest Akano jump you can and deactivate just before you're about to land on them. You can then just do a giant jump and clear the gap of those second pile of boxes. You want to land in the middle, basically do a crouch jump up and just go around the TNT. Alright so these oriental lions here you can pretty much just get around those without any kind of problems, just run by them, they won't attack you. Alright, so there's two different ways to do this, either use a kind of to fly to the very back of the boxes and deactivate, or go to the front and just deactivate them a bit earlier uh, to avoid those. Now I should also mention it's really important that you don't hit any checkpoint boxes, they do count obviously, so don't uh, be conned and hit them. Now you can just do a double jump and get over that TNT without it actually breaking. Alright, coming up to our final uh, ascent section here, after this vertical climb we're pretty much done, but it is the hardest climb to do. Um, be careful of these lines, if you hug the wall too much you might get pounced and hit off, even if you have a Kano you'll still get moved. Now up here I like to uh, deactivate a Kano, go around the checkpoint box, and then just hug the wall and then use a Kano to jump up to hit this platform. Now with these TNTs you can just clear the entire gap, but make sure you pace your jumps. Now be careful, I do hit my head on this one, I actually almost die because of it, the platform does jut out and I thought I could just kind of get onto it but that isn't the case. I kind of over all of these, now I did a bit of a gap here where I hit both the dragons but when you hit a, a dragon you do get another jump so I was able to save myself from that one. Alright and here we are at the end, just make sure you jump over these lions. And we're done. And the blue gem should spawn up, grab that, and there we have it, our third gem. Quickly pausing it once again, we can see our blue gem here, just at the bottom between the red and the green gem. 
Alright, so our final colour gem is a yellow colour gem, found on Run It Bayou, being the third level in Mosquito Marsh. Pretty much just come down here on the right hand side near the water, you'll see it's very dark, I'll brighten it up. There's basically a glyph that shows three box platforms going from the right, and then you go to the left and there's the gem. Those three box platforms are these right here, bounce across those, and then our right to left hand turn is on this platform. Then basically jump up really high, hold your jump button, and there's your yellow gem. Pretty simple. And finally, just quickly pause in the game to check, there's all the gems, so thank you so much for watching, bye bye for now.